my name is Michael Avery I work for Cadence Design Systems in this short video I'll be showing how we can use a switch to the iron command to verify that our Specman E code that we've written is compliant with the UVME recommendations so basically this is something we run it's not a, a simulator this is a, an option to the iron command where the following checks are carried out it's linting coding guidelines compliance to the UVME recommendations and kind of structural checks on our code. So what you see here is a picture of the GUI which is showing you all of the problems detected. So it's quite simple in order to use this and I'll demonstrate in a moment. We just say I run minus HAL. So HAL is the name of the universal tool which does structural and code analysis on many different languages like Specman E-code, um, system Verilog code, UVM code and so on. And all we need to give it is uh, a top E file. So those of you who are familiar with Spectrum will know that when you load E code, it's basically just one file which is responsible for importing everything else. So let's go and look um, firstly at the, the help to see where can we get help for this. Um, so for from the command Unix command line, if you've got the incisive tool in your path, CDNS help will open the help application. So all cadence help can be fine for this in any tool, not just the simulate, not just the verification tools. Now if we search for something like, for example, UVM compliance, and a top hits the UVME reference guide, um, let's search down for the word compliance, and here it is. So if I click on this link it will then start discussing me uh, discussing this UVME category which is a, a class of checks that are done to make sure that the UVME guidelines are being followed so it gives you more detail there if you if you wish uh, but what I'll do now is I'll just show you a demonstration of it running on a, on a kind of small example what we'll show now is the HAL tool so what HAL is is a structural analysis and LinkedIn tool and a, a a methodology standard compliance check for a variety of languages uh, so obviously we're interested in Specman and ecode uh, so in order to run this all we need to do is use the iron command as usual and the options we give are minus hal uh, Specman path okay if it's not if you don't have an environment variable which sets your Specman path and the top e file and that's it okay notice we've added the minus sn comp just so we don't compile the e files into c uh, just saves us a bit of time okay so what this is going to do is load all the code in um, and it's going to produce an output to analyze the code and produce an output we'll be able to look at in a GUI in the moment called NC browse so essentially the output of this process is, is the, there will be a log file um, or not a log file but a, a results file which is in plain text so you can read it if you wish but what the NC browse does is take that file and, and format it so you can see here what it's doing now uh, it's telling us it's performing linting checks okay so it's telling me you know a summary of what the errors are warnings and notes uh, and it's telling me here to analyze the results what I do is go and execute this command okay so let me just do just that and here we go so I can have these filtered now. So what what it does is group categorize these as, as well. So I can look at the category, how many I have in each category, and each kind of instance of a failure, it shows me the code that has this thing, and and detail down the bottom here tells me why it's complaining. Um, so what, what's it telling me here? Constraint with generative paths which belong to different generative scopes. Use read only to make it a single generation action. Okay. Okay. So I can choose here to, you know, ignore that or not. Uh, UVME compliance here. So this is telling me all the things I uh, uh, did or didn't do. Uh, it's telling me there's no documentation, for example. You know, I might choose to ignore that, and I might not. It might be important for me. Um, no release notes file, uh, and so on. Okay, so basically all these categories are the default categories, um, so you can go and choose to um, modify that. But there's a file called hal.def, uh, which you can modify to choose which route, uh, which you want and which you don't. 
Okay, so again, you know, another message here. Um, it's saying the method is extended using is only overriding a previous definition in of this in the same struct. So basically, you know, ignore this if we we're quite happy with that situation. Um, so again, you know, some of these rules you might choose to eliminate. You might decide to write your own rules as well. Okay, so it's just another tool, especially the UVM E compliance. That's uh, made people find that useful. If you're interested in finding out more about Specman, um, there is training courses available. So if you go to cadence.com forward slash training, you'll see uh, a list of courses. So let's choose North America, for example, if that's where you are. And functional verification. And Specman. This, this is the kind of first course you would do. You also noticed the, there was an advanced course as well. So the ways in which you can do this is a live course at a Cadence office or your own workplace. And there's also an online version of the course here, uh, which you can do in your own time. The online version of the Specman training is actually free. So if you just put into Google free Specman training, click on the first hit and there's the details of how and there's also a Cadence produced course on Udacity, which is a provider of uh, these so-called Mooch training deliveries. Okay, so you can see the details there. Thanks for listening and goodbye.